Hello, my name is Six, I have a hat, I'm Six and his hat, and welcome to another Minecraft instructional video. Last week we looked at my mob spawner and a little city and also uh, my town. So today we're going to go on from the mob spawner and what have I done here? I can't remember. It's about a year ago, at least. Uh, we have a creeper in a perfectly lit environment. That's useful. So this leads to my underground house, I hope. Some unmined minerals, which annoys me. I usually stop and get stuff as I go along, but here we have my little underground house, which has some respite food and various other bits and pieces in it. I built this here because this is kind of a naturally spawning um, underground sphere cavity. Uh, and I just thought it was kind of cool. So this is all naturally spawning, apart from obviously the staircase. So that's the original staircase that goes up to the glass ceiling. So let some light in to kill the monsters. And this is the staircase that goes up past where we were in the last video. I love that you can run upstairs nowadays. <laughs> okay, so this is the uh, railway track that we were looking at last time. And I'm going to jump up the tower, which is over there in order to get up to the trains. Let's get that equipped whilst I'm here. So here we have the railway track that goes up to, uh, sorry, goes underground to the Blue Orchid train track. We also have this nice little park area with the town from the previous video. So built this ladder up here because I kept going up the railway track itself and it seemed pointless. So here we go. Let's follow this one down. So where are we going? We're going to the ice spike biome and generally west. I've since making that sign put in a, another train station actually. Come on. Boom. There we go. So let's leave all this behind. And uh, as you can see, I did a bit of detailing there when I got bored. This train track runs alongside the one that goes to the old snow cabin. Where we still had areas of snow rather than uh, a height level. Which runs along there. But again, as I've said in all the videos, this is all survival, all vanilla. There's been no creative whatsoever building any of this, including all of the gold, all of the iron. So, as you can see, it's taken quite a long time. This railway track we're on at the moment actually isn't finished, if I'm honest. Um, the path is, the kind of wooden structure, but the actual train track isn't because I ran out of resource. So let's speed this up a bit so you don't have to sit there for the whole time listening to me ramble on about nothing. Battle of Jack, Mercury Fred, Muscle Car, Grateful Dead, Lord of the Rings, Settling the Lead, Devil Set 2, Rats and Fred, it's all over. Rock and roll is dead, take it home! And there we have it, that's the end of the world as it is, um, end of the train track. So yeah, let's pop that back where it lives. Um, as you can see, I still had some gold left, but I used all my iron on a stupid video I made of how to make iron golems that I don't even think I made into a video because I lost the footage. <sighs> so here we have kind of my next stop off point, I built this basically to get some wood on the go and some uh, more raw materials and some food so I don't have to keep going right the way back. <laughs> I'm actually cooking stuff. I haven't been here for uh, absolutely ages. I've actually got some iron on the go as well, which is cool. Some gold. So that carries on to the ice bikes biome. As you can see, there's a fair amount of sand that I'll eventually transport back and we have all the other bits and pieces that I've dug out of the ground. 
So let's go down here. This is, of course, a uh, naturally spawning pyramid, which I've adapted just to get some food. So there's enough wheat to make a couple of loaves of bread uh, and a tree of each type, I think. Or at least one tree of each type. Some potatoes and some carrots. And all the other stuff that you could possibly need, basically. And as I said, I've also built this. Uh, you can kind of wander around here. It's just a standard one. I haven't touched it at all, really, apart from digging around the outside of it. So uh, I've dug down and built another mine. Obviously not particularly interesting, but goes into quite a nice ravine system. Not quite tapped out yet. That was close. <laughs> um, for uh, all the other resources that I need to build a train track. As you can see, quite a big mine on the go there. Uh, for stone, and if we go down right to the bottom, bedrock. It's the first time we've seen bedrock actually on these videos, even though I've hit it quite a few times. Uh, let's go right at the top. For those of you who don't know what bedrock is, it's the absolute bottom of the map and you can't dig through it. There's a few tricks to get through it with the trees, which is um, slightly dodgy, but you can't actually dig through it. So again, after that little brief stop off, I'm going to speed the video up again because there is no railway track here and this goes for... Oh, cat nearly fell off my lap. This goes for quite some distance. Oh, ow, don't bite me. Go. Now, as I was saying before, I like to put struts um, so things aren't floating in midair. It just so happens that the sand dune nearly came up to the train track. Um, so a, bit, a little bit of wood that sticks out. And here we ran out of stone, which is why I'm cooking it in the um, little elevated uh, train track, sorry, train station back in the way. And I think the rest of this is just a single line of wood because I was just trying desperately to find an ice spikes by him uh, for quite some time. So I'll speed this footage up again until we get somewhere more interesting. Rock is dead! Rock is dead! Rock is dead! Okay, so here we go from overground briefly into underground and then overground again. I did actually divert the train track to go through there so I didn't have to keep building the support. Bottle of Jack! Mercury Fred! Muscle Car! Each of these supports as well has a ladder. For when I was building them, I was planting trees, uh, chopping them up to build the tracks, obviously, and it's just an easier way of getting back up to the top. Um, and this is the track I referred to, I think, in the first video as the Mouse Breaker. So again, to remind you why I was um, building this particular track, it was for the uh, new biomes that were bought out in 1.7. Because my entire world was generated in 1.6, it was absolutely massive, massive, massive world. Uh, and of course, none of the new biomes were going to spawn in any of that, so I had to go outside of it. And this was the attempt to do it. Most of this... Um, has water underneath it because I was using a boat, which is obviously a very quick way of getting around. Um, but yeah, I'll speed up the video when we actually get to those biomes. So, as you can see, as I was building the mouse breaker, um, I planted these little dudes over here just so I could get some wood. There's an awful lot of sea um, to cross, and I was fed up of walking right the way back to land. 
So every so often we have one of these with uh, a load of trees in. And of course, if we want them to grow quickly, because uh, I've got a bone mill generator, which we saw in the last video, we just do this. And they grow. Let's stop the video be, uh, being sped up just for a second here. As you can see, naturally generated horses and loads of flowers. Um, so if I was to pop down this one, this is one of the places that I got all of the uh, flowers from. So all you have to do is walk up and do 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 do. Uh, not that I'm doing this because I'm bored of walking along that path. <laughs> Let's speed up the footage again. And finally, here we are. This is the second mushroom island I found. Uh, we're already nearly 5,000 blocks away, yeah, 4,700, um, which is why I called it the mouse breaker. I'm going to have to stop off and uh, get some food at some point. I mean, luckily you can milk these little dudes down here and eat the mushrooms as well, but uh, that was quite an undertaking, that one. So let's go down. Yeah. And as you can see, I've kind of made it three wide here and I will make it three wide all the way across when I'm building the actual train track. Oh, my cat's licking my hand. It's very cute. So here we have a place for trees. I don't think there's enough room for that one. It will be for these ones. And then a mine, as per usual. And if we go in here, we have a railway track which takes us to the ice bikes. Um, various bits and pieces that I've mined. Quite a lot of coal there actually. Some iron and various other bits. So let's get my old minecart out. Let's see if I can whiz up here. Keep going, keep going. There we go. So I've not really done much there apart from build a small base. And this will take us much more quickly. <laughs> the ice bikes, so I'll speed up the video just one last time. And there we have it, we are finally at the ice bikes by our village. When I actually got here, I realised it's not all that interesting, it's just got spiky ice bits that you can't do anything with. <laughs> um, but I've got this little base, obviously, just to uh, get myself around. So, this is the absolute end of the track. This is... Ow! Catch scratching me again! Uh, two, uh, 4,892 by 2,740 blocks away. Ah... <sighs> Such a long track. Uh, simple water rate elevator to get up and down from there. A little slow man dude I built to keep away the baddies. And let's get the path because it'll probably be just as quick as going up the water elevator. Underneath the house. And then under yeah, we have a simple mine. Whew. So what a journey. Um, if you, that's the end of this video, if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, 
please leave them below. Please also like and share the videos if you like what you see. My name is Six. I have a hat. I'm Six in this hat. And that is the Mouse Breaker video. I'll see you next time. Thank you.